walked in here and I'll just ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've built this. Well, a friend of mine did all the welding and constructing of it, but we put it together out of all bits and pieces from old machinery mines and that around the place. Look at it. Looks like a living treasure. <laughs> Well it is, it's built up of, after all, years of experience of building hand mining rigs and these smaller rigs like this old one, I knew what I needed to do to put a, a lot more dirt through in a day and I also needed to build something th that was a one man operation so it all had to be able to work yeah. with a fair quantity of dirt um, and, and it's worked really well. Yeah. And this your old car as a mine? This is, no, that's an old Bedford truck, it used to be a water truck and we put the rig on the back of it so we could drive from one shaft to the next. And this is, this mine started off on, with this, with this truck parked right here. Why that, move it? Well, I've been repairing it actually, it doesn't look like it's been, but it's been repaired and I don't think it'll drive near. Righto, yep, moment you of got, truth. Yep, you got to put the hard hat on, let me just, is it the right? Peter, but am I going to find something down there? Well, you, if we move enough dirt, you will, but you won't find it down there. You'll find it up in the mining rig, and that's where we find the sapphires at the end of the day after it's been through the processing plant. Right, so I've got to earn my keep first. Yes, got to do some work, <laughs> you know, get a sweat up, Beautiful. do some shoveling. Okay, I'm going to go down. How far down is it? Just three metres down there. Turn around so you've got both hands on the ladder. That's it, and just go down slowly. I'll see you down the bottom? Yes, I'll come down after you. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> There's plenty of room down there. I really am. <laughs> You'll be right. Oh it's look, there's sapphires in the vicinity. I'll be very, very right. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's cool. Oh dear. It's quite weird down here. You're right, no, there's plenty of open space. Okay, I'll turn your light on. Yeah, you can see now. Yeah, you can see where you're going. It's small. <laughs> Gets bigger as we go down further. Here's a handrail down here, so just turn around. Just mind your step going down here. No, no. I've been doing it for 36 years now, and I'm still the same height as when I started. <laughs> and you know that the really good sapphires that you're going to find in that patch are very few and far between as well. That's what makes them a precious gemstone. Yeah, it's a thing. Can't hear a thing. But it's 24 degrees all year round. It is quiet. I, the, the only time I hear any wild, like, occasionally there's a lizard that ends up down the shaft, or birds. There's little birds that nest in the, in, in, in the shafts in the top, and the, and the baby ones end up down here. So sometimes I arrive at work and I've got to rescue this little cheap cheap and take it back on top, let it go again. But that's the only wildlife we get down, we hope. Occasionally there's a snake, but we don't get them very often. <laughs> There's another one up there. That was a connection up to another area where I was working. We'll go off to the right here. There's some really old workings I can show you. Tiny. You work here? Yep. yep, that's the height I used to work, just sit sitting up height. You can see the height of those tunnels. <laughs> well, you only want to take out the, the pay dirt. So this is where the layer on top of this ridge was paying, just through here, so there was no point in taking the rest of it. Did so you find that in here? Yes, it was good. There was a good patch along the top of here. What colour is it? Mostly blues. Mostly blues. A nice yellow came out of here and um, some good star sapphires, but mostly blue and blue-green is what we find here. Some nice party colours too, the party colours are a bit more than one colour, blue and yellow and sometimes with the blue, yellow and green mix as well, so they're quite pretty stones and, and, and very easy to sell. It's like being inside a box full of possibilities, isn't it? You never know what you're going to find. You just got to use that jackhammer and shovel and shift a lot of dirt. If you find that the harder you work and the more dirt you move, the luckier you get, you know. So it's like life. Are there many people that do this solo, like you? There's a lot of, most of the miners are one-man operations. Um, they might have bins up on top, so they send the dirt up with the, with the automatic hoist and then store it and then come up on top and turn all the water on and everything like that. But I don't have that much time because I've got to go and do the cutting and the and, and jewellery making as well. So if I do a morning's work, 
I want to just come up and pull the sapphires out at the end of the day. So the more efficient system, the more time I get to do other things for the rest of the day. You know, so maybe I'm greedy or just want to. No, I just want it efficient. You just love efficient, it. yeah. And, and and just move more dirt. And that's that's what the secret is. Not not having machinery holding you up. Yeah. You know. You got yeah. such a twinkle in your eye. Oh, is that? Yeah. <laughs> maybe I think I've got to go and find a big one today. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because you're dead. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I'm looking for a sapphire. This way? <laughs> this note? way. Yeah, yeah, this <laughs> way. This way. Yeah, we'll go digging for sapphires. So. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the moment of truth then. Yep, this is where we're going to be digging. Beautiful. Just just around the corner here. So before we start that, let's put some glasses on. So put, put those safety glasses on. And this is your ear protection. I'll just put that put on the back there. Can you? Is that comfortable? Okay. Uh, yep. You ready to go? So I'm going to jackhammer. You're going to use the shovel? jackhammer here. Shovel. I'm good on a shovel. Clint could do some shoveling. Just yeah. grab the shovel down there. Leave Clint, the work. To chuck some of those big rocks in there as well because they yep. help break the dirt up. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just dig that there and peel it away as you. How am I going? That's it. Right. <laughs> okay, just push against the rocks and push it really hard. Oh, I got it stuck. Oh, that's, that's it. Here, yeah, leave it out. Wow, it's pretty soft. Where there's rocks, there's sapphires, so oh. this layer down through here is Where the best layer. Hard yeah. yeah, just go underneath it. Yeah, and go just there. Okay, and then push down on that. Yeah, got another in big there, one huh? to go. There you go. I love it. I've just discovered something. <laughs> More than a sapphire. This is incredible. How am I going? Yeah, good. Just keep digging around that part there. Um, he's got me to work, I tell you. Oh, there's a bit in there. <laughs> good work, guys. Thank okay. you. I want to come back for some more. Up you go. Keep it sideways, okay? There you go. Go straight over. That's it. How are you feeling right now? Like when you go through this process? Every day it feels just that that, that, that excitement of, of, of going through the pulsator is is, is, is always it's, it's always a, just a reward at the end of the day. Actually, some days there's not much, so you go home with disappointment, but you forget about that and, and, and come back the next day and have another crack and maybe work a bit harder and try to put a bit more through. Mm -hmm. Because it, 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 the really good sapphire can be in any shovel full that you, you dig, you know? What, what are we looking for? Like what kind They're of... going to look shiny and shiny. and are they, they, See, there's one there that's not... That one doesn't look like a good one, just from there. Ooh, I'm straight in, did you notice? Midnight See, blue. they look black. That's just a piece of... Oh no, here's one. Yeah. See there? Wow. Look, you, you hold that up to the light. Turn around and hold that up. Yeah. See that? See the, oh, the green wow. and... Oh wow! That's a... Um, party. Party. A party that's, one. So it's got the blue and a bit of yellow. Wow! How big could you cut that into? Oh. As a ring? Probably a nice... Um, Two to three carat stone. That's a nice one. What's been your biggest find? Oh, I found pieces two and three hundred carats, you know, but sometimes big dark blues. And I found yellows and party colours that have cut 15, 20 carats, and, you know, that sort of yeah. thing uh, over the years. And mm -hmm. how do you feel when you. Well, it's it actually, I don't feel so much. It's, it's actually the finding them and the cutting of them and that that's more exciting. And sometimes I actually feel. Strangely enough, a bit disappointed when that when they're sold. It's like, oh, you've got my sapphire. <laughs> but it's actually finding a stone that's got its own story. It's a story of the sapphire. The, the, the finding it, where it was found, its history is as important as anything else. More important than the money. Much more important than the money. 